under the theme Food Safety, Everyone's Business, the action-oriented campaign seeks to promote global food safety awareness as well as calling upon countries and decision makers, the private sector, civil society, United Nations organizations and the public to promote and enforce food safety in the country, especially during the COVID-19 times. Kenya Bureau of Standards Kebs says that the number of cases in regards to food safety has dropped significantly, especially after the creation of market surveillance unit mandated to conduct inspections in factories, pre-export verification of conformity, inspections at points of entry to ensure a safe food ecosystem in the country. You can go to the standardization mark uh, and you are able to verify the product by entering the code number that is on the S mark that is on the product. I want to demonstrate with this particular product I have here. It's called Usafi Hand Sanitizer. At the bottom of that, on the other side of the product, you can see uh, where the S mark is, that there's a, a number at the end of it. It's written S mark uh, and then the, the particular number. You are able to enter that number on the app. And this, this particular one, the number is uh, 41. 816. So I'll enter that particular number to verify that the product is checked by CABS and is valid. The product meets our specification. Food producers across the country have also outlined how they are coping with risks involved in the food supply chain. Mikono tunawasha. Kwa hivyo tumekua tukizingatia zile sheria za Ministry of Health na ndiposa na pia kuweka nini distance, social distance. According to food experts, farmers and food dealers have taken advantage of the COVID-19 pandemic to release foods to the market which are not worthy for human consumption. However, according to Beatrice Opio, the program's manager of food safety and certification in Kebs, says that the news has been tightened at border points in Kenya which have been identified as entry points for the substandard goods. For products that are being imported into the country, we also ensure that we have partners in those countries where the products are originating from who also checks that the products meet the Kenyan specifications for the particular products and they are given what we call the certificate of conformance so when we the product come in we also ensure that they are meeting our set standards for the safety levels that we have set in our standards and as the world celebrates food safety day world health organization who says food safety is a shared responsibility between governments producers and consumers linda koskei k24 business.